to this video fast food review. Hooray! I got pastrami. Hi. Jack in the box pastrami sandwich. Yuck. You don't like pastrami sandwiches? I love pastrami sandwiches, but everybody knows a good pastrami sandwich only comes from either New York City or Cantor's Deli on Fairfax and Hollywood. Cantor's Deli is good, yeah, but I can't afford that. First, our appetizer is stuffed jalapenos, which are probably the best thing ever and the worst thing for you. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Melty cheese. Mm -mm. They sometimes give you a buttermilk sauce to dip them in, too. I didn't know if you wanted buttermilk sauce. They asked me if you wanted hot sauce, so I said, oh. Hot sauce, absolutely. You know, on the chemistry.com uh, dating site that I used to be on, they'd always say, what's your favorite guilty pleasure? And, you know, people would say, like, the Brady Bunch or William Shatner singing, and I'd be like, no, you don't have to be ashamed of your aesthetic taste. You don't need to be guilty about that. You need to be guilty about something like this that's delicious and it's terrible for you and it harms you. You do realize, uh, Francis, the return of Francis to Geek Week. She's totally eyeing your Jack in the Box. Cat, I thought I taught you to have better taste than that. Than Diet Coke? Well, I mean, she's mm. probably going to go steal your pastrami, knowing her. There's so many diet soda cans around this place. I, I'm sure she associates the smell of diet soda with mommy now. Aww. So, Nutrisweet, <laughs> mommy. Jack in the Box does something different with Diet Coke. The Diet Coke you get from Jack in the Box is something special about it. I don't know what. Maybe they put crack cocaine in it or something. Got fish oil supplements too to help improve the circulation that I'm about to damage. Uh huh. The recommended dose is like three a day, but for you, I probably recommend like maybe six, because after this one. No, just kidding. Always take your medicine as prescribed, everybody. I'm just kidding. It's not technically medicine. It's a supplement. It's not regulated by the FDA. Oh. Huh. Then why does it have recommendations on it? Well, they can recommend whatever they want. Oh. And then it says these statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. Oh, really? Yeah. It says it right there. I don't know if you can focus on that. Oh. Well, always take your medicine as prescribed. There you go. All right. I'll preface this by saying... I hate Subway's pastrami. I haven't had the Carl's Jr. Uh, pastrami burger. Togo's pastrami is a little better than Subway's, even though Togo's generally sucks. Uh, Quiznos, I don't know if they even do it. Quiznos! By the way, Quiznos, I love your cat uh, marketing strategy. With all the cute little cats, you could totally get me to go with that. And Jack in the Box terrifies my dad, too. Really? Yeah. There's Jack in the box. Okay. Should we get a close up of the sandwich before you totally decide to Yeah, do this? the pastrami looking pretty good. It's got some mustard, grainy mustard, pickles, a little bit of cheese. And stuff that looks like cheese. It's, it's not cheese, honey. It's not on rye. They make a big deal out of that in the ads. Oh, it's not on rye. I don't rye really bread care. sucks anyway. And you know that was like the total cause of like the Salem witch trials because like everybody got like high on like the spores from like the rye bread. Really? Yeah. They, it was, a lot of people think it was one big LSD hallucination. And that it got perpet it got pushed forward by greedy adults who wanted to off their neighbors. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. You learn, this is what you, how you learn something when you're watching me, even if it's not from me directly. Okay, the pastrami is tasting pretty good. It's definitely a cut above Subway's. It's not gristly so far. Let it's me try, because I'm very picky when it comes to my pastrami. Okay. Let me see if it passes the Julia test. Well, it's not Cantor's, but it's not bad. Mmm, it's got pickles. I can do without the cheese stuff, but pretty good pastrami overall. Even Julia likes it, and I hate Jack in the Box. Should we see if the cat wants some? Um, hold on. Or we will. They are mixing meat and cheese, which is not kosher. Yeah. So, like, the greasy characters would be kosher because it wasn't all mixed. So, stuff. Hasidic Jews cannot eat the Jack in the Box pastrami. Nope. Sorry. Or any Jews that keep kosher. Um, I don't mean to just single out the ones with the funny hats. Those hats are sacred, honey. <laughs> Hindus think cows are sacred, but cows can be funny. Okay, all cows in, like, friggin' Virginia and Holland are stupid. I will say this right now. Cows are stupid. 
That's why we eat them. Okay, you just offended all the Hindus, so now we're even. We're equal opportunity offenders. <laughs> well, I mean, they're cute as crap, but, you know... She doesn't know what to do with it. Tried to knock it out of my hand. Ooh, what happened, kitty? Regaining interest. <laughs> interested. I feel like Kevin Nealon reviewing pornos. Interested. Very interested. Oh, I lost interest. Oop, there she goes. She ate it. So there you go. It at least meets the standard of a regurgitated piece of double down. How can y'all not get through with this adorable little cat? Because they hate watching the KFC double down. Some oh. people just can't handle perfection. Oh. Then she just thinks it's a toy. A toy that you could eat. It's like, put it down. Dad, put it down. Okay. I want to eat right. it. There we go. Everything is awesome except for pigeons, birds, and cows. I even like lizards. Lizards are cool. There she's eating it. Yeah. Okay, so because I asked you if you wanted hot sauce, which is taco sauce, by the way, yeah. um, let's just see what that combination tastes like. Okay, we want to try everything. Examine all the angles. Top taco sauce on pastrami. Why do I have a feeling millions of New York fans will be screaming at the screen right about now? That's not how you do it. In fact, if my mother was here, she'd be having a shit fit. Actually, she will be watching this. <laughs> She'll be having a shit fit. That's not so bad. Taco sauce on the pastrami. Wait, am I allowed to say shit? Of course. Oh, okay. The, mo the farthest away Jack in the Box is in North Carolina. Yeah. North Carolina friends who've never been make a pilgrimage. Jack in the Box <laughs> rocks. That's the undercover brother philosophy. Hot sauce makes everything more edible. That is true. Dad does say in the event of a nuclear disaster, he will have piles of Tabasco because that will make anything edible. Seriously, that is in my dad's emergency supply kit. Tabasco. In the event of a nuclear disaster, his tongue may be burning anyhow. Dad has a nuclear disaster suit. You know that. Yeah, I'm just gonna open it up to eat. So, this is how sweet this guy is. Mr. I'm tough. <laughs> Mr. I'm tough. Yeah. <laughs> the people I went to high school with would not define me that way, I guarantee you. Well, you are tough. You've been hanging around my dad. So I just absorbed it by accident? Probably. I absorbed a lot of medical and like legal knowledge through knowledge through osmosis. I bet through just because my parents are my parents. <laughs> we got about a minute left. Okay, well, we're almost done, so I will conclude. I'll take my fish oil. May cause anal leakage. Ew. We're gonna have to cut that. <laughs> anal leakage. Hey, no. She just flipped me off, viewers. What's the power of the finger? I can't swallow pills, so I chew them and squirt the oil down my throat. It's actually kind of tasty. I'm a sushi guy, so. Fish oil caplets. Cool. Bye bye. Bye bye.